on the Eliezer ends. And today in my big cup little cup session, we're going to be making some fruit cones. So before we start, let's say hello to everybody. So we'll start with the girls. Are we ready? One, two, three. Hello, all the girls. Hello, all the boys. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you here. Great singing, everyone. So to make our fruit cones, we need some ice cream cones like this. But for some reason, I've got two in this one. It's a bit wobbly. It looks a bit like a witch's hat. So I've got my two ice cream cones. On a plate, I've got some sprinkles. I've got some chocolate in a bowl here, which is just melting. And then all the fruits I've got is grapes, strawberries, they're my favourite, blueberries. And these two are different fruits that you might not have seen before. This one are, is a pomegranate, they're in a bowl. And a mango, that's also in a bowl. So what we need to do is to start off with, we are going to chop our fruit up into smaller pieces to go inside our cone. So I've got here, this is a special child safety knife and it doesn't hurt your fingers so and it cuts all your fruit and veg but because I'm a grown-up I'm going to use a sharp knife. So let's start with my grapes. I've got red grapes but you can have green grapes or black grapes but I like red grapes the best so I'm going to take yeah, they are the bunch look, so I'm going to take a couple of my bunch. One, two, three, and four. There, and when I cut my grapes, I cut them long way, so that means I cut them down. And then I'm going to cut them into four, which means a quarter. So I'll go down, like that. so there they go into two pieces, so they're the halves. And then I'm going to cut down again. They want to, and then the two pieces will be four. So I'm going to do that with all of my grapes. So one, two, three, and four pieces. So then you end up with lots of small pieces of grapes. So do that one. So. Oh, it's coming apart. There's all the grapes, so I'll put them in one pile here on my tray. So next we can have the blueberries. Now these blueberries are quite big. So I'm going to again do the same that I did with the grapes and chuck them into four. So I'm going to count that four blueberries. So one, two, three, and four. So I'll do the same I did with the grapes and I'll cut them into four pieces. There we are. So they're nice and small to go inside our ice cream cones. And we have a pile of blueberries there now. We've got so one pile of fruit, two piles of fruit. So next shall we do strawberries. Nice red strawberries. So I'm going to count out again. One. Two, three, and it's probably a nice big one at the bottom. Four. So on your strawberries, can you see you have a green stalk? So what we need to do is we need to chop the green stalk off. I'm going to use this knife now to show you how this knife works. So we're going to just chop down like this and chop the stalk off. Whoops. And there is the flat bit. So we're going to do the same with those and chop it into four. Once we've chopped it, so one, two, three, four. So again, slice the stalk off the top. And one, two, three, four. Nice colourful piles coming here on my tray. Ready? One, two, three, four. And the last one, this one's quite a big one. And then when you finish with the stalks, you can just pop them in the bin. One, two, three, four. So now I've got one, 
two, three piles of fruit. And these are all different colours. I've got blue, purple and red. So now I'm going to do a mango. So this is the outside of a mango. It's nice and green. But when you open it up, it looks a bit different. And in the middle here, it has a stone which is a bit of a white colour. So the mango is nice and yellow, and in the middle there is your stone. And it's a bit tricky to cut round your stone. So you might need a mummy and daddy to help you cut round your stone, because they're very, very hard. So I've chopped mine in half already, and I've popped some little pieces into a bowl. So I'm gonna chop those a little bit smaller, like we did with the strawberries and all the others. So mangoes are very, very juicy. So there's a piece of mango. I'm going to chop these pieces up nice and small to go in our fruit. Oh, I'm running out of room on my table. So again, I'm going to chop them up into smaller pieces. Just so then they are in the piles. We've got some lovely colours going on here. I do like it. it, looks a bit like a colourful rainbow on my tray. There we go, so there we have yellow, nice yellow mango now. So we have lots of lovely colours on here. And the last fruit I'm going to put in is called a pomegranate. And these are very small little seeds. They come from a pomegranate fruit. So this is the outside, the pomegranate. When you cut it in half, it looks a bit funny on the inside and all these here are the seeds and these again you might need mummies and daddies to help you because these are very very tricky to get out i've had to take some of them out already of mine so if you ask mummy and daddies they can help you get your pomegranates out or if mummy and daddy want to cheat you can buy them that are already not in this shell so that's what pomegranates look like they look like little berries or little seeds so these are already out so i'm going to put a little pile on my tray like this. So let's put in, and I do like pomegranates because they're very, very juicy when you get to eat them. They're very juicy. So here we have our lovely rainbows colour of fruits. I mean, you don't have to put all of these coloured fruits in. You can add some orange to add another colour, or you could add some banana. You can add any fruits you like to make your fruity, um, fruity cones. So here I've got some chocolate. This has been melting on some hot water. But you'd have to, you can add melt yours in the microwave or on a stove, which you'd need help from mummies and daddies, or this one is in some very, very hot water. So again, you'd need some help from mummy and daddies because water, microwaves and hobs are very, very hot. So as this has just been melting, I'm just gonna give it a stir up so all the chocolate melts together. So the water, the steam from the hot water is what melts the chocolate. Oh, it does look yummy in there. There's a few little bits that aren't quite melted, but we've got enough there. So the next part of our fruity cones is, we are going to take this off the water. Just make sure it's not got loads of drips. Move the water out of the way. So next, we take our cones. This is the fun bit. And we're going to dip it into the chocolate. So it covers, just give it a little twist covers just the top and then when you take it out you need to wait for it to finish dripping because it might be very drippy can you see it's all dripping and then once it's finished dripping we're going to dip it in our sprinkles so dip it in and turn it around in the sprinkles you can cover all your chocolate up with sprinkles like this i pop mine out onto a tray and then you have your cone with chocolatey sprinkles on the outside Pop a few more bits on and now we can do the next fun part which is fill our cone with fruit so you can either put one fruit at the bottom and then another or later you could just put lots of different fruits in at different times so i'm going to start with my pomegranates at the bottom because they're small so just pop them in the hole like that and then next we can have some what do you have next? some grapes Pop the grapes in next, just drop them in the hole, like this, oh, that was stuck. And then after the grapes, I think I'm gonna put some mango. 
So we're just going to layer all of our different fruits up inside the cone and then some blueberries and on the top, right on the top, is some strawberries. And I've got a few more little pomegranate seeds I can put them on the top again. And some grape, and a slice of mango, another blueberry I think actually. So there, as you can see, you have your fruit cone. That looks absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to lay this down here on my tray. Oh, in fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to stand it in there. And I'm going to go make another one with the other one, with the funny witch's hat one. So dip it in your chocolate. Give it a spin. Cover the top. Oh, let it drip. Oh, no, I've got chocolate on my hands. There we go, and now into the sprinkles. Cover it in sprinkles. So I've used round sprinkles. You can use long sprinkles. You can use shaped sprinkles. I've got hundreds and thousands, mine are called. So. There we are, we're covered in sprinkles and we're going to fill up my cone again. So this time I'm going to put strawberries at the bottom. So one, whoops, two, I need, to, I need to push them down a little bit so they go right into the bottom. Then some grapes, some mango. If you want to push it down the cone a little bit, give it a little push. What did I do next? Blueberries, pomegranates, Another strawberry on the top because I've got some space and some more grapes on the top. A blueberry and top it with a piece of mango. Whoops. So there we have two yummy fruit cones. So you can either eat these straight away or if you can get mummies and daddies to find something to stand them up like this, you can stand them in the fridge and they'll stay nice and fresh for a little bit longer and you could have them as a dessert with your lunch or your tea. Or even just as a treat if you're really super good. So I'm just going to pop those in there now. Whoopsie. So maybe when you make your own, you can use lots. You could find some different fruits that you can use. Maybe some different colours that I haven't got on my tray. I wonder if you can think of any. Maybe something exciting that you've not seen the inside of before, like a pomegranate Oops, or a mango. So that's it for today. So I hope you have fun making your fruit cones. And they are very yummy when you eat them. So it's time to say goodbye. So I'm gonna eat the rest of this fruit and then eat my fruit cones a bit later. So are we ready? One, two, three. Goodbye, all the girls. Goodbye, all the boys. Goodbye, everyone. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining me today on our Big Cut Little Cook session and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye!